Hi, and welcome to my channel. This is my first video in a series that I'm calling a quick three minute tool tip. The aim is to quickly cover off a topic by showing you how to do something without spending too much time on the theory or the detail. If this format is well received, then I'll definitely make more of them. So if you do like it, just hit me with a like, a comment and a subscribe so I know. But as I only have two and a half minutes, let's jump right into it. I'm going to give you five tips to play the screw or draw a shot really well. All five are really important and should be done on every shot. The first three are your fundamentals, but it's amazing the number of people who don't do them. And the last two are really key. It might not be obvious why we should do them, but they really help with the timing of your shot. Number one, a simple one to start. Try and keep your cue as flat as possible. It's not always possible if you're cueing over the cushion, but the lower the butt of your cue is, the more likely you'll play the shot well. You see players really digging down on the ball, but that will increase the chances of a miscue. Number two, the lower you hit on the cue ball, the more screw or draw you will get. However, if you hit it too low, you'll probably miscue. The lowest you should play on the cue ball is about three quarters of the way down. Number three, follow through with the cue after contacting the cue ball. Because the cue ball should spin back to you, sometimes you see players jab at the ball and try to get the cue out of the way as quickly as possible. However, play the shot properly, your cue should follow through a few inches. Now we're into timing and the tips that will make a huge difference. Number four, always keep a loose grip on a screw shot. You should be holding your cue in the first two fingers only and the back three should be free to move as you feather the ball. There's always a tendency to grip the cue tightly on this shot, but it's one of the worst mistakes you make. Number five, always remember to pause before you deliver your cue. Players tend to get a bit more anxious on a screw or draw shot and try and deliver the cue too quickly. This seems to be the shot where the pause is most commonly forgotten. But like the previous tip, that pause really helps with your timing. If there's something else that you'd like me to cover off in a quick three minute pull tip, then let me know in the comments below. And please remember, if you did like this, then give me a like, subscribe, and give me a comment too, and I'll bring out more of these. So we've covered off screw shots. But if you want to find out how to play impossible shots, then check out the video that's on screen just now. I hope you find this useful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.